everybody welcome back to d diets how are you first time here to the channel give me a thumbs up consider subscribing ring the little notification bell you'll know when i am putting out another video where are you d well i'm just leaving the dollar general i went to the dollar tree and oh my goodness am i in the full spirit yeah i am thanks d's delicious bites oh my goodness d had such beauty she was doing her full decorating Okay, now it's not full for me yet, but like Dee said, if you get to the stores now, you won't have to pick through everything and you'll be able to get um, some stuff. So, I ran in, yes I did Dee, I ran in and I figured let me get, I needed, I actually needed just a few other things, but, oh my goodness, please know where you're going. Oh, yeah. Every, I'm telling you people, everybody's in a rush everybody so anyway i said to myself i'm going in like d went in oh god this lady should ready to cross the street ready to cross the street and didn't even look i'm telling you that's the way it goes around here anyway now i'm going down some cockamamie side road so let me come right back to you okay okay so I went into the Dollar Tree and I went into the Dollar General and I thought to myself, I'm going to be like Dee. I'm going to go and get my few little fuel, um, harvest things for, you know, the fall. So that's what I did. Now I'm going to go over to the farmer's market, which is honestly so close to my house. So I'm going over there. You know, the farmers come up from their farm stands and they bring their vegetables. Now, let me tell you something. It is raining right now. It is disgusting. What is it with me in the rain? But it's raining. We've had beautiful weather. So, I mean, you know, got to have some showers occasionally, don't we? Oh, by the way, we're still in uh, midweek 11. Yeah, we're still in it, guys. We're still in it. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I definitely need vegetables. Oh, well, you know me. But since they're here and it's right around the corner today, I figured I'll go and I'll grab myself some vegetables. Oh my goodness, I guess a lot of other people had that in mind as well. Oh, the cause. Oh my goodness, all oh, the cause. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, look at this rain. It never fails. It never fails. I can't wait till I go home and show you what I got because I got a lot of nice stuff let me just move this like this there we go okay now I'm parked and I'm going in I'm going in to get some fresh veg and then I'll come back and I'll tell you what I got to save you the aggravation from me driving like an idiot all over the place I just got out of the farmers market stand I guess I did and I just picked up I'll tell you what I picked up let's go chariot take me home and it, oh this rain I got 24 ears of corn I know you're probably thinking really Denise I'm gonna tell you the price I got 24 ears of corn I got a bushel of tomatoes yes I also got zucchini and I also got summer squash, onions. I'm looking down because I'm like, what else did I get? I got a watermelon. Yes, I did. Um, eggplant. Yes, I did. For the grand total of 20 bucks. Yeah. How do you beat it? How do you beat it? So I'm going to go home and then I'll show you all the finds that I got at the Dollar General. This is because of Dee's Delicious Bites. I'm telling you right now. Because she was decorating. And I'm going to leave her link. She did a whole for, uh, fl um, full harvest look. And she had it in two parts. But I'm going to put them in my description box below. So you guys get to see how pretty Dee decorated everything. And she really did. And I thought, let me go and just get some things. I needed dog food. That was the reason why I went out. I just want you to know I needed dog food. I didn't need full harvest things. But you know what it's coming and I spent a lot of money at the Dollar General now with the Dollar Tree I um, got a few little things over there spent a few bucks in there 
Yeah, I did. Oh my good. Well, I'm saving a ton in the food. I'm going to tell you that right now. I really am, guys. When you don't buy meat and, and dairy products, woo, what a savings to your grocery bill. That's all I can say. What a savings. And it is. Okay, let me make this turn. Let's see if the camera turns and everything else turns along with it. Oh, it's very ominous right now. Very ominous. The clouds are dark. It's like I just want to get home before... <laughs> Because uh, I don't have a garage attached to my house. I think I've I think I've told this to all of you. I don't have a garage attached to my house, so it can be a big pain in the ass walking from the garage to the house because it's 150 feet. And if it's snowing or it's snowing, I don't mind. But when it's raining, oh please! It's, look, there we go. Okay, so let me show you what I got. Oh, by the way, can you notice? Is there a little difference in me? Do you see anything different? Hope you do. Anyway, this is what I got at the Dollar Tree. I got some cleaning with the bleach, of course. I got a little thing of buttons. Yeah. And then I got a little sewing kit that I want to stick in my purse. Do you know sometimes when you go out, you say to yourself, oh my goodness, I just popped something or I need a needle and thread. Cute little thing couple of toothbrushes yeah why not and I accidentally bought a Dove Men Care like an idiot I bought two of them yeah I did so this is for the hands the face and the body but you know what it's a hydrating cream so I'm gonna use it on my hands I got a couple of absorb patches I don't know if you've ever had these but if you have a bad back they heat up so and they're the extra large ones so I got those Got some sponges. You know the prepper in me. If I'm going in, I ain't going in for one thing. Naturally, a whole slew of batteries. Uh, yeah, hello. Uh, that's just that's just prepper material. They had, I know you're going to laugh. You're going to say, how much rice does this woman eat? They had at the Dollar Tree two pounds of just the long grain white rice. Two pounds for a buck. So how many do you think I bought? Ten. Yeah, I did. Oh, I told you we go through a lot of rice. And now what else? Okay, on to, oh, I got something else. Oh no, that's rice. <laughs> that's more rice. Anyway, um, farmer's market. I left the two dozen corn in the garage because tomorrow I'm gonna be husking them outside and I, I, cause I don't want those fuzzies, let them fly around out there. But I want you to see the gorgeous broccoli at the farmer's market. Look at the size of this thing. Do you see this? Do you, look at this. Look at this. Hello. A dollar. A dollar. Yeah. That's going to go down real nicely. And then they had the onions there. These are the candied onions. They are so sweet. Picked up four of those babies. I also picked up eight tomatoes. Nice beef steak tomatoes. I already put them in the sill so they can get even riper. <gasps> I love them. And then I got, oh goodness me. Look at the size of these peppers, guys. I got three peppers. They were 50 cents each. Look at the size of them. They're bigger than my hand. I picked up a summer squash. Hello, hello. Yes, I did. I picked up, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, there's so much in here. I picked up, a nice big eggplant. Oh God, a nice big eggplant. And there, it's firm. Now when you go and you get an eggplant in the grocery store, typically it's soft. This is firm. You want a firm egg. You want a firm eggplant. <laughs> Hello. And we're not going to the X-rated side of my brain because we could, we possibly could. Then I got a nice big zucchini. So you know what I'm gonna make with all that, right? My famous fabulous sauce that I make. Oh, goodness. All right, so let's put all the vegetables aside and let's, let me show you just a minute. Okay, let's get to the fun stuff, shall we? I picked up this runner. It has the little truck on it. I just think it's adorable, I really do. 
And then I picked up these two pumpkins. I hope you're impressed, Denise. I hope you really are impressed. That would be Dee's delicious bites because I had to look at all full festivities. Then I picked up Harvest Wishes. Isn't that cute? And Giving Thanks. Isn't that cute? It's just adorable. It's just adorable to me. As I'm going, I'm just putting back in the bag because I'll be putting these aside. Now, when you're seeing this, it's September, but take my word for it, it's August. <laughs> I got a whole mess of leaves, you know, the vines. I thought that would look nice on my staircase. Some of you have seen my living room, and there's the staircase going up. So I figured maybe I'll wrap the leaves around the staircase. I think that would look really pretty. And what else did I get? What else did I get? Oh, my goodness. I picked up this. I thought this was adorable. Look at this. Isn't this adorable? And I picked up these little pumpkins. Let me just show you. I picked up these little pumpkins in the mesh bag. Do you see that? I picked up two of those. So I'll place them around, you know, make it look cutesy. Then at the dollar store, I picked up this. Tell me this is not cute. For a dollar? What does it say? Grateful, thankful, and blessed. And that is the truth. That is the truth. I'm a little pissed right now, just so that you know. I'm a little pissed. I'll tell you why in a second. Look at this. Isn't this adorable? Isn't that cute? I hope to God I find a place for all these things, but I thought this was so adorable. Tell a store. How do you go wrong? And then the little pumpkin sign. Ah, oh, hello. Too cute. Too cute. I'm not done. <laughs> no, when I get my uh, in a twist, well, I might have to spend a little. That's correct. Okay. Then I bought a nice little tablecloth with a little truck on it, which I think is so adorable. Here's another bag of these uh, little pumpkins. Then for my staircase, I thought these were so cute. All these little wooden things. Look how cute these are. Aren't these adorable? How do you beat it? $2 a piece. You can't. I couldn't make it for $2 myself. And uh-oh, I think something broke. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Something already broke. Oh, God. I'll have to glue it. I'll just have to glue it. But... There you go. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? I just love it. It says harvest and gathering, but of course, now I have to hot glue this. And this one says gather. Aren't they adorable? I thought they were so cute. You know, because I do want to decorate some. You know, I do. And I don't know if they're going to even have Halloween this year. So I figured, let me just do the harvest stuff. I'll get some of that. Now, what's in this bag? I don't know. Oh, to put on the table as like a centerpiece, look at this. Tell me this is not adorable. It goes so cute with the table. Isn't this cute? Isn't this cute? I love this. I really did. I was like, oh my God, that is so cute. I have to have that. Not that I had to have it. Because the prepper in me just kept saying, is that necessary? Is that necessary? Is that necessary? You have no idea the questions that go on in my brain. Wait a minute. Let me get this other thing. Now, D, I found this. Home. Isn't that adorable? D had this too. I seen it. I seen it at D's house. I know. I feel like we're kindred spirits now, D. So I grabbed that, grabbed it immediately. And then I picked up, oh, this is the Dollar, this is the Dollar General? Yeah, light bulbs, of course, lighters. And this was some kind of fake Victoria's Secret thing. I don't know, I don't know, bombshell, bombshell. <laughs> so it smelled really, really good. So I thought I'm gonna take that home with me because it smells really good. And then I got two hand towels with, of course, the little trucks on them. They're so cute. That was my Dollar Tree haul, my Dollar General haul, 
and going to the market today. So let me tell you why I'm a little aggravated too. Oh, finally. So I'm aggravated because when I came home, I beeped in front of the house because Doug's big truck is in front of the house. I mean, the big truck. So I beeped to let him be aware that I'm home and I'm going to have to park in the garage because he hadn't left for work yet. Well, I'm dragging the packages in. I told you it's 150 feet into the house. It's raining out. And I, I come in the house. I go, Doug, 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 where is he? He's upstairs at the computer because I have two computers in the house. But one of them is upstairs where he plays his farming games as though he is Joe Farmer planting vegetables. Uh, don't even ask me. So he comes down. Now, I am dressed for the day. It is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, you might not have to leave for work till 4. But you know what? Do not be presenting yourself in your underwear to me when you know that I am out doing all my shopping and that I could use a helping hand. Well, he didn't. So he comes down the stairs. I brought all of it in except two bags, okay? And he's still standing there in his underwear. Yeah, he is. So I figured, let me just go out and get the other two packages, bring them into the house. So that was my exercise for the day. I'm telling you right now, that was my exercise. I ain't doing no more exercise today. I'm done. But anyway, I hope you like this little video. I do, because I wanted to show you everything. And we're still in week 11. Yeah, we are. I'll give you a little turn, a little spin. There you go, there you go, there you go. That's me, folks. <laughs> Hopefully that scale will come down a few more pounds. That would be great. I don't know. But we'll be going into our third month. Yeah, we're going to be at the end of the third month, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. So now I'm going to go just put these bags in another room because there's no need for me to take them out of the bags and put the vegetables in the refrigerator. And that's really it. So until I see you all the next time, my friends, make sure to be kind to one another. The heart, that's really all that matters. And I know I will see you real soon. Thanks, these Delicious Bites, for triggering my inner decorator. <laughs> On a budget. On a budget. Bye-bye, everybody.